Hi all, welcome to the video lectures of Nano Electronics. So this is part 6 of module 5. In this session, I will discuss about quantum Hall effect. So we are familiar with classical Hall effect. Hall effect is an effect which was discovered in 1879 by Edwin Hall in which uh, the current is made to flow in a thin lamina sample in x direction and the voltage that is generated in the y direction because of the migration of the charge carriers abided by the Lorentz force equations and at equilibrium one measures the transverse voltage which is known as the Hall voltage the quantum uh, version of uh, classical Hall effect is known as uh, quantum Hall effect so we can move into the discussion so consider a system for the experiment here the system is thin two dimensional material in which electrons are restricted to move in two dimensionally it is restricted in is a axis or the third axis this means uh, fairly limited the movement of electrons so the motion of electrons is confined in the plane as here called the x and y direction only so this is two dimensional electron gears written as 2d eg in short a strong magnetic field is applied perpendicular to the sample it is coming out of the plane right and the magnetic field is of the order 5 to 30 tesla and experiments are conducted at a low temperature so that uh, the quantum effect will be important and it will be visible in this system uh, the current is flowing in this direction that is in the x-axis and call it as uh, jx and uh, there is voltage developed here in the transverse direction because of the segregation of uh, charges here this voltage is called Hall voltage there is also resistivity in the direction of flowing current which is uh, given as rho xx uh, generally called as a longitudinal resistivity or it is also known as magneto resistance there is a other one uh, which is called transverse resistivity it is a rho xy also called as Hall resistance so according to classical Hall effect if you plot a graph between magnetic field and Hall resistance or transverse resistivity it will be linear linear straight line as a function of magnetic field so the Hall resistance as a function of magnetic field was a straight line according to classical Hall effect but here it is not a straight line there are plateaus at some integer values as shown here we will uh, discuss it that is i is equal to 2 i is equal to 3 i is equal to 4 and 5 and 6 and 8 and 10 and so on so the whole resistivity was in the order of h over e square so here the whole resistivity is here it is 2h e square at this point it is 3h e square 3h divided by e square here it is 4h divided by e square and so on you can clearly see the plateaus for rho xy for the plot x-axis is magnetic field and y-axis is resistivity resistivity means uh, there can be a rho xx and a rho xy rho xx is longitudinal resistivity and a rho xy is hard resistance or transverse resistivity the plateaus are seen for the whole resistance plot okay for rho xy now we can uh, talk about longitudinal resistance it is zero most of the time 
but it shows a peak as the whole resistivity or rho xy makes a transition from one plateau to another see so it is only when the transition from one plateau to another it shows a peak and you see the peaks are all there accompanied by the jump from one plateau to another you see the rho xx which is a longitudinal resistivity it is zero which means that uh, resistivity zero means it is a perfect conductor suddenly the resistivity shoots up which means that uh, there is a lot of resistance there so the system is undergoing a transition a series of transitions from insulator to metal metal to insulator and so on so there are the some of the uh, interesting features of uh, quantum hall effect which are very important so we can summarize it both a hall resistivity and longitudinal resistivity exhibit interesting behavior while a hall resistivity has plateaus at integer multiples of h over e square hall resistivity means a uh, rho xy or rho xy it is given as h over e square into 1 by gamma where gamma is the integer values 1 2 3 so on. and h over e square is taken as quantum of resistivity it is also known as gritzing constant because this quantum hall effect it was first discovered by von gritzing later he was awarded with a nobel prize for this discovery anyway we can move into the next session another point is that at the plateaus of the hall voltage the longitudinal voltage becomes zero so after the discovery of uh, quantum hall effect we were able to calculate the hall resistance that is rh the hall resistance at the position of the plateaus especially at the plateaus is given as r suffix h that is hall resistance is equal to h divided by gamma e square where small h there is a planck's constant and gamma there is an integer it is gamma is equal to 1 2 3 0 so consequently this effect is called as integer quantum hall effect that is iqhe so two years after the discovery of the integer quantum hall effect it was found that condensation gamma could take fractional values like 1 by 3 2 by 3 2 by 5 3 by 5 etc and where this uh, integer value that is gamma that is equal to p divided by q where p and q are integers constant values with q as odd number this phenomenon was uh, given the name fractional quantum hall effect fqhe so there are two kinds of quantum hall effect integer quantum hall effect that is iqhe and fractional quantum hall effect fqhe the first experiment uh, exploring the quantum hall effect uh, were performed in uh, 1980 by von petzing approximately 100 years after edwin hall discovered the classical hall effect so we can conclude the session so quantum hall effect can be observed in especially in nano structures two dimensional one dimensional structures and the resistivity as a function of magnetic field is not a straight line but in classical quantum hall effect that will be linear straight line so for hall resistance we have seen that there are certain plateaus and for longitudinal resistance it is zero most of the time but it shows a peak as a hall resistivity or rho xy makes a transition from one plateau to another and one more point to be noted is that the center of each plateau occurs as the magnetic field as you may value that is b is equal to h n divided by gamma into e where uh, phi not there is h divided by e 
it is known as the flux counter which is h divided by e okay so this will be the last video session for module 5